Hey guys, welcome to Task Tips, episode 6, transferring save files. I know, it's happened to all of us. You're playing a game on your favorite site, but you're at someone else's house, or a game that you want comes out on a site, then gets over to another site that has achievements, badges, awards. Now, how do you go about getting your progress from one location to another? Save files are stored locally. Now, how this goes about is a file is written to a folder and it's specifically designated to a website. These files are known as SOLs. It's their extension. Now, it's going to depend on what operating system you're running as to where your save files are located. First off, let's talk about Windows operating systems, XP and Vista. First and foremost, your files are going to be hidden. So you have to show hidden files and folders. For XP, this is really simple. All you have to do is go up to Tools, Folder Options, View, and then click on Show Hidden Folders and Files. For Vista, it's a little bit more complicated. You have to go into your Control Panel and from there, you can access folder options. It's not located within any sort of a toolbar at the top of the folder like it is in XP. From there, it's the same process. You double click on it, you go to view, and you check show hidden folders and files. Now you'll be able to go and view your save files. So let's access them. If you're using XP, the location is uh, C slash, then documents and settings, then your user account, whatever you're logged in as, whether it's administrator, your name, whatever it is, you're going to want it for you. It's stored per individual user. Uh, application data, which is what was hidden, but it's now no longer hidden. From there, it's macromedia, flash player, the number sign, shared objects. Then you're going to come to a folder that's got a whole bunch of random numbers and letters. This is going to be different for everyone, but if you double, it's going to be the only folder there. You double click on it and it's going to pull up a whole ton of folders. Within those folders are going to be websites that you visited, and within there, eventually, you're going to find your save files. But we'll get to that in a little bit. If you're running Vista, it's very similar, but slightly different. You're going to want to go into, uh, again, users as opposed to documents and settings, then your user account that you're logged into, then roaming, uh, there's going to be local roaming, you're going to go roaming, then macromedia, then flash player, then number sign shared objects, the funny, play, the funny number and string, and then your, your files and folders. If you're running a Mac, it's going to be a little bit different than that. First and foremost, you're not going to need to make any file or folder uh, viewable. It's going to be available regardless of what you're doing. You're going to go into Users, then your name, whatever you're logged in as, then Library, Preferences, Macromedia, Flash Player, Number Sign, Shared Objects, then the funky numbers and, string, and, and character string, and then your folders for all of your websites. Finally, if you're running Linux, um, I can't really show you anything. I, I don't have uh, a computer that has Linux on it to show you, nor do I know really anyone to get it from. Um, but if you're cool enough that you installed Linux on your own, you probably don't need this tutorial anyway, because I'm sure you can figure out how to do it on yourself. I mean, you're running Linux. Okay, so now we've accessed where our save files are but there's probably tens or hundreds of different folders in here. Which one is the right one? Where is your save file? Now, my recommendation is to sort these folders by date of last modification. If you're just playing something now or in the past couple of days, the folder is going to be modified very recently. It'll narrow down the searches. Also, I provided a list for you of the locations for websites that are typically used for, for Flash games. Armor Games, Congregate, Newgrounds, uh, Candy Stand, Addicting Games. Hopefully that'll, that'll narrow down the searches for you. If there's any site that I didn't include that, you're un that you can't find where your files are, post it as a comment. I'll be happy to tell you where your files are. Or if you have a specific game that you can't find, let me know and, and I'll look it up for you. Finally, I just want to touch on something that's come about recently. A couple of companies have started providing server-side storage for save files. 
Now this is really cool because as long as you log into your account and you're playing the game logged in, all of your save file progress will be stored server side as opposed to locally and you'll be able to retrieve your save file on any website from any computer without having to do anything. The companies that are currently doing this are Flash Game Licenses, GamerSafe, and Mochi Media's Mochi Coin system. Both of these also incorporate microtransactions so that developers have a new outlet for earning some extra income. Well, I'm Tass. This is Tass Tips Episode 6. I hope this has really helped you. If something's not clear, if you're still not sure what to do, please post a comment. Let me know. I'll do everything that I can to try to help you. Rate the video. Let me know whether you liked it, if this you found it helpful. Anyway, take care, guys. I'm going to go eat another burrito. Peace out.